All right, Kenman here, and today we have more pyrites, pyrites, pyrites. Jeez, is this guy addicted to pyrites? Yes, yes I am. They're fantastic. People send me more to do more custom stuff. This one's mine. I happen to have a nice clean one right here. <laughs> uh, but I have uh, definitely marked several of them that I own and have sold or have made for others. This one is Meredith's MPG. We're gonna be doing something to it pretty soon. What would you like to see on there? You wanna see her logo? You wanna see a pattern? You wanna see her pattern around a, a pattern around her logo? Yeah. Comment below. Help us figure it out. We're gonna be doing that one pretty soon. This is Delaney's second pyrite. We've already done one of his. Uh, I already sent it out to him and he sent another one Delaney has sent me what? Three pyrites now. One of them we use for a giveaway for my 5K giveaway. Thanks again, Delaney. Um, I've been throwing in extra little things for him here. Uh, I guess I didn't show it because he hasn't received it yet. Maybe he... Yeah, I have some videos on some stuff I'll show after the fact. Anyway, here we are. We're going to cut to uh, some laser marks quick i did a few tests i'll show those and then the actual mark and then we'll come back here and get it all put back together and Okay, we are back. What did you think? We got it all done. You can see the uh, tests I did on this side and then the actual mark. We kind of changed it up. We decided to put everything on one side just to see what it looks like. Plus, this one says Jumpin' Jack Knives. The other one said Jumpin' Jack's Gunsmithing. What do we think? Uh, I feel it turned out really good. Excited to put her back together. My only uh, concern is I couldn't get these barrel spacers out and that out so it might click back together and give us some issues we will find out let's go i have put a few of these together before so that always helps yeah but when they're jammed in there it's hard to kind of pop things get them to line up i'm trying to figure out what it is i want to do here we're just going to try Okay, get this washer, the uh, bearings are, they can go either direction, sometimes they have one face that looks different than the other side, not that it maybe doesn't matter, but I always try to put them back exactly how they were when I got it. I like to push that button in with the blade at the same time. Kind of makes it a little bit easier, although it is kind of awkward. And you got that spring on that button. All right. Now let's see if we can... Uh, Oh, it popped through. Almost had it. Okay, remember there is a knife. Almost had it. It's a little more difficult with your... Like I said, those pins are kind of stuck in there. I used the pliers, tried to get them out. Couldn't get them to pop out. Um, 
So that just makes it a little bit more. You have to push everything down just right. All right, so let's see what we got here. Try this again. All right. That worked better. I gotta pick this whole thing up as a unit. It looks like we clicked in that time. So I'm gonna get this pivot in there. I'm not gonna crank it all the way down, just kinda get it down so it's moderately snug. And let's get all these T6s back in. And be careful not to scratch the surface here, Kenman. All right. Definitely have been enjoying the pyrites. That's the pocket clip screw. Uh, it's a great knife. It, they have so many different versions of it. Um, there's one that's going to suit you very well if you haven't already purchased one. Definitely check one out. They have some budget the pyrite light is only thirty dollars where did the screw go how did you get in there what is going on you see that it's mad at me there we go um yeah the pyrite light is only thirty dollars um so that's a great budget version then they have some premium ones with titanium and inlays and better blade steels for all the way. I don't know, I think the most expensive ones getting close to 200, maybe 170, 180. Um, and everything in between. I love my rose gold pyrite. I think it was like $60. It's an awesome looking knife. All right, get that pocket clip screw in there. And now we're going to crank everything down. And get it tight. I'm so I'm gonna make sure that the pivot is tight, but not so tight that I can't loosen it. Then I'm gonna tighten everything else down just so we can make sure to keep that blade centered nicely. Okay, I was kind of double check the pocket clip screws a couple times because they're right next to each other. When you get one tight, it kind of can loosen or give a little relief to the other one so then you have to sometimes uh <clears throat> sorry give it an additional little tighten boom so you want to make sure the blade is stiff and solid when it's out if it's loose and you want to obviously tighten it up and if it's tight or it's really stiff then you can loosen it find that sweet spot we have done it did i even show off much I guess I did a little bit, but okay, so we're done. Uh, Delaney's knife, number two, his second custom pyrite. Jumping Jack knives, what do we think? Another successful KDK custom. Been doing a, quite a few of these lately. Uh, having a lot of fun with it. Here's that pyrite, great button lock, flips out easy. Oops, <laughs> thumbs out. <laughs> I'd say easy, but that looked silly. Um, looks like I got it dialed in nice. That button works really good. Solid knife. Feels really great. Like I said, this is just the basic standard Pyrite Alt. They do have a drop point blade. If you don't like the Alt kind of worn cliff, um, they do have versions with thumb studs as well. Excellent stuff. I noticed the uh, same thing on the last one. The angles were at. Sometimes some letters look darker than others. See how Jack looks light and this looks really dark. We go over like this. We can make Jack look darker. It's uh, nice and even when I'm sitting here just looking at it. Looks great. There it is. What do we think about this design? The last one we put the writing on this side and just the donkey alone on the one side. I think that looks cool as well. Um, yeah. If you are interested in some type of laser work, uh, hit me up. I might have some time. It sometimes takes me a while. Delaney's first one took months, 
but uh, they're not uh, my lasers, so I don't always have full access to them. I have to do them in my downtime. But anyway, here we are. We got some knives. They are great. A lot of fun here. Uh, one of the ones I did just finish is this agave. So you can also do print. It's difficult. So I did a white laser mark on the silver. A lot of different things we can come up with. I'm going to be experimenting more in the future. Watch a video on this up there. CJRB agave with an agave print on it. But yeah, another one for Delaney. Another pyrite in the books. KDK style. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.